So now let's discuss the concept of cooling by evaporation. This is a bit of a difficult concept, so please try to focus. Vehicles in a liquid don't need to move at the same speed. They can actually move at a lot of different speeds, which technically means not all the particles are at the same temperature. The temperature of the liquid is generally the average temperature of all the particles in that particular liquid. Take a glass of water at room temperature at 28 degrees. Some particles of that water will be at 28 degrees and moving at a normal speed. However, a small portion of the particles will be moving at a higher speed, maybe a speed relevant to about 50 degrees. Think of it that way. And some other particles will be moving at a slower speed than normal, let's say at the equivalent speed of 10 degrees. So the idea of evaporation is that if there are some particles that are very fast moving and if they happen to move around and they are moving near the surface, they might have enough kinetic energy to actually break through the surface and fly off. They can overcome the attractive forces exerted by the neighboring particles and they can escape from the liquid surface as a gas particle. So imagine the fastest molecules that are lucky enough to be near the surface. If they hit the surface at a good enough speed, they can actually break through and break free. So the fastest, technically hottest particles would be able to break free and escape. And this is actually evaporation. So imagine if the fastest particles broke off and went off. So what would you leave behind? Clearly, you will leave behind the medium speed particles and also the slow speed particles. So the average speed of the particles left behind has decreased. The slow moving particles left behind would have a lower kinetic energy than they had before because the fastest particles have already left. The particles with the highest kinetic energy have already left. So the average kinetic energy of the remaining particles in the liquid decreases and thus the temperature of the liquid would fall and the liquid would cool. And that is how liquids actually cool by evaporation. The factors affecting the rate of evaporation are shown below. The rate of evaporation for a given liquid can be increased by increasing the exposed surface area of the liquid. If you have a bigger surface area, there is more chance for the fast molecules to hit the surface at a good enough speed to escape. Next one, you can increase the temperature of the liquid or surrounding air. If you increase the temperature of the liquid, you increase the proportion of high kinetic energy particles and therefore there will be a higher chance that they would hit the surface and break free. Thirdly, you can increase the motion of the surrounding air. And lastly, you could also decrease the humidity of the surrounding air. So one common question would be, why do we usually feel cold when we just got out of the swimming pool? The answer is that water on our body is evaporating. Evaporation cools the water in a form that we just described in the last slide. And because the water is cooler and our body is hotter, so thermal energy transfers from the hotter body to the cooler water and therefore you will feel cold. So this is actually quite a good example which you might do in your lab. If you have something called ether, and if you put a straw in and connect one other side to a pump, then you put it in a little saucer over here with a bit of water. You use a pump and suck out air from here. This would draw air in through this straw and produce bubbles going through the ether, increase the surface area of the ether. Therefore, the ether will be encouraged to evaporate more quickly and therefore it will become cooler. When it becomes cooler, the warmer water will transfer its thermal energy to the ether. Therefore, this water will become cooler and cooler and cooler and taking off energy from the water is quite fast in that after a few minutes, the water over here can actually turn to ice by the power of cooling through evaporation.